All right, YouTube, it's time to uh, respond to John Tron's own response to sort of the uh, crap surrounding his thing with Destiny there. Um, I'll weigh in, but first, um, I, I need to say this, but I don't want to dedicate an entire video to it. It seems like the notification system is getting more and more sporadic. I looked at the videos I uploaded yesterday, their ultimate view count as opposed to the day before or something like that. It's totally different. I'm not the only one apparently experiencing this. I'm not exactly sure what YouTube is fiddling around with um, to do this. It's changed its algorithms before in search related videos and stuff. I don't know specifically what it pertains to. I'll have to monitor my analytics probably for a few weeks uh, to actually theorize what's happening. It could have something to do with the filtering system. I don't know. Now, I know that my channel is now no longer available in, in Germany totally. Uh, whereas before, for some reason, some Germans could get through. I don't know. YouTube is uh, not very transparent with regards to these things. But to JonTron, um, I, I'll, I'll just uh, address this directly to him. And hopefully he'll see it. Maybe some people can feed him this video. So I don't use Twitter or anything like that. You can feed it to him there. Apologizing to the social justice warriors is the wrong thing to do. You may think that it solves the problem, uh, but you are not a, po are a particularly political individual. You do gaming videos and entertainment. So maybe you're not aware of this, but for those of us that have sparred with the left before, the multi I'm not talking about like oh, the, the neoliberals, it's a, a no-brainer. I'm talking about the actual social justice warriors, the easily triggered folks. Apologizing to them when they get angry doesn't help the situation. They won't accept your apology. They never will. It doesn't matter how heartfelt it is. You could come out on video and sit there crying and groveling and begging, and they'd say, oh, that's just another Nazi racist that's been chastised, but we still hate you. You're still a you fucking bigot or something. You're still a white male. And I understand, of course, you're the child of immigrants. You're, you, know, you wouldn't exactly fit in with the ethno-nationalist crowd may, on the alt-right, maybe. But all you did when you were having this debate, which was really just, uh, honestly, a bunch of shouting about statistics, all you did was point to crime statistics that are true, to your opinion about immigration, believing that that system needs to be overhauled, and stating that you believe that all people, and, you, and nowhere did you say, oh, you know, Sieg Heil, the Germanic people, that all people should have a right to maintain <clears throat> their cultures. None of that is wrong or bad or should piss any reasonable, sane individual off. Pointing out statistical truth, pointing out crime statistics, the actual truth of what is happening in the world has somehow now become unpopular among certain segments of the population. To literally state the truth is now bigotry. To state the truth is now an affront to their sensibilities. These people can't really use the term liberal to describe themselves, at least in the classical or, or the paleoliberal sense. They can't use that term to describe what they're talking about because they simply, they get offended even if something is true, that they, they assume that the reason that you're stating that inconvenient truth for their social justice warrior bottom line is because you're a total bigot. And apologizing for it's not going to help the situation. Not one of these people, this relatively small number of people that unsubscribe from your channel, not one of them is going to resubscribe because you apologized. Most won't even be aware you apologized. And those that backed you up, that said, hold up, I mean, this doesn't make him a Nazi. What he's saying here is... is pretty much par for the course, just a bunch of common sense. Those people now see your apology and see it as a form of weakness, and they'll be less willing, perhaps, to back you up if you weigh in on politics in the future. Now, you say that you won't, but I tell you what, <clears throat> you'll probably be compelled to, because this is the other thing that happens. My channel, years ago, had some politics on it, but its primary goal was I entertained myself, I spoke about the paranormal, religion, sometimes politics, a few news events, and some of the fringe stuff like Yellowstone or something like that, oh, the super volcano or Fukushima. It wasn't really a dedicated political channel. But then I realized how angry these people were getting, and I chose to double down. I didn't say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I offended your sensibilities because I talked about 
uh, Islamofascism, or I talked about the immigration crisis, or I said, oh, you know, Gary Johnson's gone crazy, so I'm going to back Trump. I didn't apologize, and so the channel kept growing and keeps absorbing more people, because I'm going to stick to my guns. It's just the way that I am. I, I'm not going to shy away from sparring with some social justice warriors. Your channel is primarily about gaming, and that's where you feel comfortable, and that's where you want to remain, and you say, uh, I'm just going to get back to gaming, I'm, I'm not really a political mind or something. They're going to antagonize you, and at some point, whether it's on YouTube or not, you're probably going to have to respond to them more. PewDiePie is doing the same thing. He's not a political mind. He doesn't have a political channel. His channel's about, oh, here, he jump cuts, and I'm going to respond to this game and, and show you this funny clip or something like that. And yet, increasingly, after his first little, oh, YouTube hates white people thing, when millions of people jumped down his throat on that subject... He got more and more political, and he's still throwing little dog whistles into his videos. Look at the last five or six videos he's uploaded. He's got little references to all this, references to 4chan, references to nationalism, references to, to all of these things, race relations. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be the main point of the video, because then people will be like, well, it's too many red pills. But apologizing to these people isn't going to help. As for immigration, you're right. You're the child of immigrants. So why should the why in, in any reasonable sane way why would they be upset about your opinion that immigration needs to be cracked down on to some degree? It's not even a racial point to make. Some of these people that have illegally immigrated into the United States or into other places they're from the they're from the reigning race that's already there. There are illegal immigrants in parts of Europe that are white. There are illegal immigrants here in the United States that were white, that are white. There are hundreds of thousands of them from Eastern Europe. There are apparently enclaves of illegal immigrants from Ireland. There are illegal immigrants from Mexico that, that are completely white too. They're like full, full on Spaniard or they come from some Germanic family. They just happen to speak Spanish and they were born in that particular nation. These people, John Tron, don't even realize the difference between race, ethnicity, and national origin. Why would you bother apologizing to them? These are the sorts of people that if they had their way, they would completely censor you from talking about politics at all because they're that politically correct. They can't take the heat and they should just get it out of the fucking kitchen. They shouldn't even delve into politics. It just makes them enraged. All they do, they sit there and they look for ways to be mad. It's manufactured outrage. When they claim that you, who for years you've been just a gamer, all you do, you play video games, and you get paid to do it. More power to you, by the way. They're going to keep jumping down your throat. Now, every time you upload a video, whether it has anything to do with politics at all, they're going to be looking for reasons to be upset based on the content there. The one time you chuckle because a, a black character in some game happens, it's a first-person shooter, and they get hit in the head with a baseball bat, they're going to look at that and they're going to say, oh, racist, because they've been now programmed to see you as a virulent bigot. Every time you make some offhanded comment about a female character, they say, oh, sexist. Every time that you design your avatar and it's not a, a pink-haired, transgendered avatar, they're going to say, oh, cis normality, it's, it's evil, it's homophobic or something. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to forget all about the fact that you said, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm the child of immigrants. They're not going to care. It's not going to shield you from, uh, from anything. Here's the fundamental thing with social justice warriors that everyone needs to understand. <clears throat> if you back down from them, you're going to keep getting attacked. It's just like these uh, racially motivated, in some cases, politically motivated in, in more others. These attacks. When you see a group of people, they're not leftists, they're just average citizens, or like Trump supporters, or they're saying build the wall, whatever it happens to be. They get attacked by Antifa, they get attacked by some communists, they get attacked by some college social justice warriors. When they curl up on the ground to defend their skull, does it stop the attack, or does the attack continue until the police arrive, or back up among their own fellow right-wingers or normal citizens happens to arrive? Is that what stops it? The latter. The attack will continue. It's like watching a bunch of a bunch of hominids beat on each other with bone clubs or something like that. There's no restraint. 
because they're out, their manufactured outrage becomes more tangible in those situations where they have something to vent on. A normal person, when they vent a little bit, they feel better, they get less aggressive, they're like, oh, oh, fuck this, I'm just gonna go have a beer or something. Social justice warriors, though, have made an art form out of ramping themselves up into berserker mode. Now, some of them are really, really, like, uh, they can't really fight because they're wheelchair-bound or something, that's why they're bitter at the world, or, the, or they've got AIDS or something like that, so they're, like, riddled with disease. But... Anytime you get like more able-bodied social justice warriors or far leftists attacking someone, they're gonna keep it. They'll beat you into the ground until you die, and they won't feel bad about it. They'll they've got such a level of cognitive dissonance that they've convinced themselves that anybody that is not their fellow social justice warrior, born, declared, and certified by Soros himself, is an evil Nazi. They look at the world. And they see people with normal, fundamentally sane ideologies that happen to be those other than their own. And they see Nazi. They see a world with five or six billion Nazis in it. Islamists accepted, of course, regardless of whether they're theocratic and hate gay or women's rights. Everyone else is a Nazi to them. Every single person in the goddamn world to them is a Nazi. There are Japanese Nazis and Korean Nazis and Chinese Nazis and South African Nazis and Brazilian Nazis. There are Nazis everywhere. That's how they see the world. It's a severe form of, of mental disability on their part that they actually see the world this way. And they're fed by the corporate media. You think they're going to let you go? Again, look at what they did to PewDiePie. He makes one video saying, oh yeah, well I think that white YouTubers are being like dumbed down in the view count or something like that. They go ape shit. They declare him to be a Nazi. He's a bigot. He's he's a failed e-celeb. He should go away. He should if this is the face of comedy, then God save us all. They beat on him for days and days. He comes out, addresses them directly, says, Well, you're not quite being fair about my channel or content, it's not even political. And they go in for round two. And he has to th he has to literally mobilize his subscribers and start making thinly veiled threats to the Washington Post to get them to leave him alone. After absorbing all that extra support, it just made him more powerful. And in your channel will probably grow as the result of this political stuff. If you don't back down, people will respect you more for that. You got to realize you're facing a very small minority of people who simply happen to be more vocal. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. The social justice warriors are simply the ones that will stand there and shout until they're red in the face. But apologizing to them, backing down, and saying, oh, well, I didn't really mean this, I didn't really mean that, oh, I don't want no trouble here, it's not going to work. It's like a bunch of thugs show up at your house and start breaking windows, and you just back and go, I don't want no trouble from you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did something wrong. I can understand why you're upset. That's what the, the leftist politicians do all the time. And it's exactly the wrong response. No, what you should do is come out with another video. You should delete the, the apology video, number one. And then you should come out and you say, I don't apologize to you. You've worked yourselves up over nothing. I said the truth and I gave my opinion and the fact that I'm not a political YouTuber shocked you because I suddenly delved into politics and society. That's what you should do. You should come out and fire both barrels on them. You've got millions of subscribers. Why are you so worried about a few thousand social justice warriors? But these people now will get together with other uh, normal individuals and mobilize them to continuously troll your material. Whereas if you just delve into politics one last time and say, no, I'm not sorry about it at all. I don't care what you think because you're dumb. The people will back you up for that. They'll, uh, they'll support you. You'll have potentially hundreds of thousands or millions more people piling onto your material. They'll, they'll actually like you for that because they realize that you understand the way the world works right now, the way you've responded. It makes it look like you still naively believe that the social justice warriors will leave you alone if you apologize to them. It's never happened in the history of social justice warriordom. It's never going to happen. But it's a small group, easily overwhelmed by your own fans, and even more easily overwhelmed if you take that extra step and say, you know, I did nothing wrong, so why should I apologize? You know, as some of these people telling me that I shouldn't apologize, I guess they were right, because these people that are... Uh, freaking out about what you said with, in your chat with Destiny, the so-called debate with Destiny. These people that are freaking out, they're just easily triggered by everything. 
Every toy is, is somehow homophobic to them. Every political movement other than literal Marxism is far-right Nazi fascist to them. These people aren't living in the realm of reality. Apologizing to them means nothing. They operate on pure instinct, and their instinct's been scrambled anyway. They're basically brainwashed. They've been totally brainwashed by corporate propaganda. They don't even realize that they're the real corporate tools. They think that we're all corporate tools. They think that we're a bunch of fascists. And they're the ones calling for more censorship, more central control to beat down on these dumb Nazis and stuff. They're the ones literally supporting the same ideology they claim to oppose. That's not a sane, rational individual. It's not the sort of person who accepts your apology and moves on. They can't move on. Their only reason for existence in a social and political sense is to be angry. That's what they've gotten into. So there's a little response uh, to John Tron. Hopefully he sees it. And a response to, for any time this happens, some major YouTuber says something that gets the far left riled up. Don't apologize. It's not going to work. They're going to keep fucking attacking you. Your best bet is to buffer up your own defensive capabilities and just rely on the fact that in some cases, you have millions of subscribers. You're not going anywhere. Go ahead and delve into politics. Attack them every week. Make a weekly anti-SJW video series. You'll probably grow faster as the result of it. Doesn't matter if you're particularly coherent. I realize John Tron, in his, you know, again, debate with Destiny, yeah, he, he spoke off the cuff, and he says, oh, well, it was late, I was tired. Okay, I understand that, but that doesn't mean the points you were making were bigoted or makes you a Nazi or something. Most of what you said is just common sense and reality, and everyone wants to freak out and pretend that it's not. Well, they're in the wrong. You're not in the wrong. You're a fucking gamer. You make gaming videos. You're not sitting there sea-kiling all day, and people who actually recognize your content or came to recognize it after this shit show blew up, they realize that you're not a Nazi. You don't have to apologize to 99% of the people watching your videos anyway, because they already know that it's a false claim. So there you go. That's about all. Peace out.